In this video, I'm going to talk about advisor within Microsoft Power Platform Admin Center. As you see in the screen over here, Power Platform Admin Center has a new capability called as an advisor. Now, advisor provides you basic recommendations around the issues that may be impacting the health status of your tenant. It, will pro it can provide a rich insight around the apps which are potentially overshared, or uh, apps which has no owners uh, and some recommended action with regards to the usage of the app. So let's see what uh, Advisor is. Power Platform Advisor provides personalized best practice recommendation to optimize your tenant. Power Platform Advisor provides insights and inline actions. So it's not only insight, but it provides an inline action as well to enhance security reliability and overall health of your tenant now power platform advisor provides proactive best practice recommendations so that's uh, basically it provides well in advance if there if it spots any issue within your tenant sharing capabilities apps that have been used in the last 60 days okay so if uh, if the apps that have not been used in the last 60 days then it will start flagging those information now, uh, what action can you do after that is you can either quarantine the app or you can delete the app or maybe you can share the apps in team within another user so that the user gets uh, some sort of a card uh, just to uh, you know, take an action uh, by themselves. Now, apps that are shared with everyone is also flagged to a great extent because uh, if you share an app with everyone, then that means uh, uh, that might uh, pose some sort of a vulnerability issue within your tenant uh, as uh, those particular app may be either not governed correctly or maybe those particular app may need some sort of uh, governance guardrails planned uh, so that that uh, the significance of that app usage uh, uh, need to be shared with the wider audience uh, need to be questioned. Now, the apps that are shared with guest users. Now, if someone shared an app with a guest user, which may uh, sometimes violate the policy within your tenant. So those particular apps will be on the prime focus. Now, let's jump into the demo. Now, I've logged into Power Platform Admin Center. Okay. Now here you will on the left hand side, you will see something called as an advisor, which we are going to talk about it. Now how to navigate to advisor is one is by clicking over here. And second is within the home page, if you just scroll down or maybe if it's uh, if the tile is present on the top, you will find this tile called as advisor. Now advisor is in preview as of now. Uh, so December 2023, uh, but there are two recommendations which have been provided as of now. Uh, for my tenant. Now, one recommendation is that some of the apps have not been used in the last 60 days. What can you do with that? Okay, that is one. Second is the apps are shared with everyone, including guest users. So uh, why don't you go ahead and take some actions with regards to it? Okay, so what, uh, what recommendation the system provides is like, maybe if you click on view recommendation, then you will be landing into the advisor preview page. Now, based on my tenant behavior, uh, or the content within my tenant, it is flagging me uh, uh, some information, okay? Now this can be more in your tenant as well, or maybe you may not even find any record over here, okay? Now, first one, it says 115 apps have not been used in the last 60 days, okay? Now, there are a couple of items like insight and recommended action. So if you see the symbol that indicates insight and this indicates recommended action. Now insight means these apps are not used in last 60 days or were never used. So we need to review them and then take an appropriate action to maintain the hygiene of our tenant. Uh, what are the recommended action? Either we can delete the app, we can quarantine the app, or if you're not the right person, then maybe select the app and share it with someone who can take those action. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's say uh, if I select this app, okay? Now, this is the app name. This is the environment it belongs to. This is the owner. Last use is never used. Last modified is October 8, 2023. Now, if this app, I think, uh, doesn't make sense, and if I am the decision maker, I can quarantine the app. So if I click on quarantine, then it will give me a message that says, test source control will be quarantined from this environment. Anyone with this user access will no longer be able to play the app. Apps in quarantine can be removed. 
uh, this app may appear in the list until the next plan scanned on 12-12-2023 even though it's been quarantined. So let me quarantine this app. So now I've taken an action to quarantine this app and the action state is now completed. So that's good. Second, uh, other action what I can do is like if I just scroll down, I can see one app called as App Prism. Okay, so if I think that this app is not adding value in my tenant, then I can go ahead and take uh, an action to delete it as I'm the decision maker for this app. Again, the same process, you just delete the app and then the app will be deleted from your workspace. Okay, now if I spot some apps, say take for example, let me scroll and see some app, say Girish01 app. Okay, now let's assume that this app, I don't know anything about this app. Maybe Alex is the right person who can take a decision. So I, what I can do, I can select this app and I can click on share in Teams. And I can say share to Alex. Okay, Alex is one of the users who has authored this app. So I'll say, hey, Alex, would you mind taking an action for this app? Okay, so you can send out some custom message and Alex will be presented with these sort of cards. Okay, so it says one apps have not been used in the last 60 days, view recommendation and advisor or view app and make a portal. And then you can click on share. So Alex will receive uh, some sort of a notification like your message was sent in Teams. This is what you will get. Now I'm logged in as Alex. Okay, so I'll just show you what Alex will see. So Alex will, if Alex will go into the chat, then Alex should see this message. Hey, Alex, would you mind taking an action for this app? And again, Alex can go in advisor or view the app and make a portal. So uh, Alex can click on view detail in advisor. And if Alex has the right permission, then Alex should be again presented with that same interface through which Alex can navigate and then take an action like either deleting an app or quarantining the app. So Alex will be presented with the screen and then Alex needs to go ahead and, you know, take some action on that particular app. So the app name was, uh, let me see what the app name was. So maybe it was, uh, this was some um, Girish app. So Alex, Girish 01 app. So Alex can navigate to that app. And Alex can take an action, okay? So here, let me sort this by name. Yeah, so this is the app. And then Alex knows that, hey, this app is not adding any value. I will go ahead and delete the app. And then this app will be deleted. Now that's how you uh, can take an action with an advisor. Now other uh, action item was three apps are shared with everyone, including guest user. Now here in this case, these are the apps which are over shared or maybe shared with people who uh, may not be the right audience. So it's shared with everyone, including guest users. So if that is the case, what you can do is like, you can select the app and then you can share in teams with a wider audience. Uh, so you take, for example, if you have some big group, okay? So this is just an example. If I have a group called as everyone, or maybe, uh, let me see, or maybe I'll just share it with Alex or Legu, okay? So if that is a person, uh, Alex and Liku, then I'll select those users and I'll say, uh, let's brainstorm on this. And again, it's the same process. Uh, information would be uh, sent across to both the users and then those users can provide some recommendation. I'll say something worse went wrong while sending the message. Uh, maybe that's a bug, I believe. Uh, but yes, it's the same process you can follow. Uh, and then those particular users will uh, get those uh, message, okay. Now, if I close this, uh, this is how the advisor program works. Now, one thing to make sure that this advisor program is different than a Power Apps advisor, okay. Now, this is Power Platform Admin Center Advisor. I know it is a bit confusing. So, if you go into resources, okay, under resources, you have something called as Power Apps Assets, and here you will find advisor. Now, this advisor is actually a person, okay? So if you want to have uh, an advisor identified within an organization who help evangelize and promote Power Platform and Power Apps related technology within your organization, then this is the right way to uh, set an advisor. 
okay now here i'm setting alex as an advisor and then alex can uh, guide uh, individual users within your organization with regards to power platform technology now if you want to know more about it i have already covered this in one of the video called as what is power apps advisor program in my channel okay so this is completely different than the advisor which is providing uh, some various insights to you so this is like kind of a robot or i'd say this is like an auto generated by the system and this advisor in under resources for power apps assets this is an actual user who will be advising the user within your organization so that's it folks this is all about advisor advisor is in a preview state as of now but i believe in an over a period of time in the quarter one 2024 uh, maybe we'll be having some more insights generated uh, in this particular section thanks for watching